Hi, it's Emily here from The Training Barn. I've been planning a trip away with some friends to go um, and photograph the Icelandic ponies, uh, the big roundup that happens every year. And I've just landed in Oslo, just got to my hotel. It's quite late at night here. So um, I'm gonna get my head down, get some sleep, and then meet my friends in the morning. And we're all gonna fly to Iceland together. And then we're gonna go do some location scouting and have a bit of fun over in Iceland. So I'm so excited about going to photograph the ponies. I can't wait. I've got so much kit with me and I've got loads of plans and loads of ideas. And um, it's been a bit of a dream of mine to go over to Iceland. So it's finally happening and I'll keep you updated. I can't believe it. I'm in Iceland. I'm so excited. It's absolutely beautiful here. We've decided um, to stop at the Blue Lagoon just to have a bit of a treat before we get down to the hard work. But if you can see behind me, it's absolutely spectacular. We've got sun and black clouds all at the same time. So I'm really, really excited. Good morning to everyone. I'm now um, at our accommodation and we're just about to go out location scouting and this is the most spectacular place. It's so, so beautiful. Um, and if you look behind me now, whether you can see that's where we're staying and here the quad bikes and this massive truck behind me where we're gonna go and explore where the roundup's happening, have a look at all the locations, see what's possible, what's not possible. And um, it's quite chilly, it's about six degrees here, so I'm wrapped up nice and warm. Um, but as you can see, I'm just a little bit excited. Anyway, um, I'll check in soon. in amongst a herd of Icelandic ponies um, we were just coming to look at where the roundup's going to happen and as you can see we've been surrounded by these gorgeous one and two and three year old Icelandic so just taking the opportunity to take a few pickies we're just trying to work out now where we're going to stand along this river um, because we're not entirely sure you know, horses are, are very unpredictable and so we don't know quite where they're going to cross. And so we have to try and position ourselves second guessing where all these beautiful horses, all 700 of them, are going to be running. our second day well third day in Iceland but second day of planning the weather has come in don't know whether you can see but it is raining and there's been a massive storm overnight so um, it's a bit chillier this morning but although um, the Sun's not shining it's still just as beautiful um, so today is we're gonna go and have a look at the second location that we're gonna be shooting at we're gonna go back to the first one double check the river crossing and where we can be and um, later this afternoon we're gonna try and fl fly um, my friend's drone and then we're gonna spend some time just um, 
sort of planning and thinking outside the box. One of my biggest things that um, I always think about is that I do not want to photograph horses and make them just look like horses. You know, if a horse is a horse is a horse basically and, and as a photographer I want to stand out and be different and produce something um, that has my stamp on it and so what I don't want to do is come away with just pretty pictures from this trip so this afternoon I'm gonna um, start to think about how I can explore different ideas when I'm out shooting in the next two days when the roundups are happening and just see what I can come up with it's going to be a big experiment as always you know you never know what you're going to get with horses um, and so yeah very exciting and uh, fingers crossed for the weather it's supposed to be better tomorrow but it's supposed to be horrendous on Saturday so we shall see As you can see the horses are behind us, they've just been rounded up down the hill and they crossed the river somewhere where we didn't think they would so <laughs> we uh, had a little bit of a run, managed to get some slightly longer range photos but um, we're going to get in front of them now and hopefully uh, get some more of them running towards us. So here come all the riders on the round up you can see they're all coming cantering past and right at the back there is a big herd of horses so you can see the ends of the ponies coming in from the round up there's all the some of the horse riders and that absolutely spectacular, completely and utterly breathtaking and I'm excited I've got lots of lovely uh, shots, lots of new stuff to add to my collection so and I'm just about to go right over there you might be able to see right up the back there that's where the holding pen is, so I'm going to go and get something up there. This is quite a mental situation to be in. I'm sat on top of a six foot fence. They've just been rounding up ponies and they're sorting them. It's amazing. Good morning. This is our second round up day where there are going to be 700 horses. And probably here it's raining, it's windy, and I'm freezing. But that's okay because we are yet again in a stunning location.
so uh, the round dance finished and they've just come up to the crowd. You can see lots of horses in the background, but they are going to be sorted behind us, which you can see lots have already been sorted. Um, and this is where lots of the drinking and singing starts, I'm told. The socialising lasts for about five hours, so <laughs> we're just going to wander around. 